So this is the turtle habitat. You have a number of different turtles here. Correct. So this is um, basically it's a replica of what you, um, you might encounter in Asia and in the Indian subcontinent in particular. Kim Gray is a longtime herpetologist at the San Diego Zoo, and she's standing next to the habitat that's home to three Indian softshell turtles, two females and a male. The mother of some of the offspring we have is actually in the sandy pool area there. She's hidden underneath all of that sand. She's using the camouflage to help hide her. And she's big. She's very big. So you can see um, when you're actually down there next to them, you get it's quite impressive. But she's about two and a half feet by about three and a half feet. The softshell turtles can top 400 pounds when fully grown. She's hiding in sand, waiting for prey to swim by. When that happens, she shoots out her long neck, snatching and swallowing her meal. This habitat area was designed actually with this species in mind. So we had just acquired them at the time. We were doing some construction, and we actually designed it with the sandy beaches and everything with the, the species we selected for this habitat with them. Thinking in the future, we didn't know when, but our goal was that they would breed one day, and we didn't know it would take so long, but we're happy. A long time indeed. She's waited more than 20 years for the turtles to breed, time enough to raise two teenage daughters. Just waiting and hoping. Um, you, you can anticipate it and you hope for the best, but you're always pleasantly surprised. The magic finally happened this summer. Keepers found a clutch of eggs in a crude nest on the habitat's beach. Eventually, they isolated 11 eggs to incubate. And then, the surprise, 30 more hatched from a hidden nest in the habitat. 41 turtles eventually wriggled out of their shells more than two decades after Gray first hoped the soft-shell turtles would start breeding. Oh yeah, I got a text and we were celebrating in text. That morning was like six in the morning or something and we were all texting each other, we were all excited, yeah. This is a, a hatchling, a narrow-headed soft-shell turtle. Davis Provan is a senior wildlife care specialist charged with raising the hatchlings in an off-exhibit area. The turtles are about two inches long and eager to find high ground. Yeah, so for the first month or so, um, they seem pretty determined to come up on land and possibly bask, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and then after that point, they'll stay in the water and they'll, they'll stay buried under the sand as ambush predators and wait for uh, small invertebrates to come by uh, for them to, to, to pick off. Uh, so we have these little, uh, I think they're black worms uh, in the water for them, for them to learn how to eat. Part of the challenge now is finding homes for the hatchlings. While they are just a few inches long now, they will get much bigger and much hungrier. But you can see, jokingly, it does have a turtleneck. It's a turtle with a turtleneck, but it certainly looks like a, almost like a fabric, like a sweater turtleneck there. And it, again, it's deceiving. That head looks quite small, but the skull on these animals is quite impressive. They have a lot of muscular um, attachments for that powerful shoot out of the neck. Gray says the turtles are a marker species for the river habitats where they live in Nepal and India. If the turtles are thriving, their habitats are likely healthy. She hopes the hatchlings will teach conservationists how to help that species in the wild. The last time scientists really took all the wild data and determined what its status was, was 22 years ago. And if it was endangered then, our concern is it's even worse now. So all of this information we can help share with a plan that should we need to intervene more and maybe start um, these Head Start or Assurance colonies, that this can help contribute to that. San Diego researchers are recording everything, weight, activity, diet. They hope to learn as much as they can about the hatchlings because this is the first time these turtles have bred in captivity at an accredited facility in North America. Eric Anderson, KPBS News. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric Anderson, KPBS News. I cover the environment. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button.